Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today the Indiana Jones event just started in Disney Magic Kingdoms as a mini event, which means this event is gonna last for 15 days. Indiana Jones has arrived. Help Sala find Indy within the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Now let's get into some dialogue from Mickey Mouse. As I'm sure you know, the spirit of adventure and discovery run deep throughout our kingdom, and I am far from the only storyteller and truth seeker here who is qualified to discuss it. So, for the time being, allow me to leave you in the capable hands of another. Let's welcome Sala. And it's gonna require three golden idols, one ear's hat, and 100 currency. You can also get Rene Belloc for 500 gems if you would like, or through the Mega Bundle with tokens to level 3, or through the regular bundle with tokens to level 2. Okay guys, so I just got all of the tokens we need to welcome Sala, which means it is time to welcome him. Ah, bright sun, welcoming residents, an abundance of natural beauty. Could there be a more promising spot to survey for an archaeological dig? It is no Cairo, of course, but then, few places are. I am Salah Mohammed Faisal El Kair, but you may call me Salah. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Though I'm afraid you find me occupied with a professional matter at the moment. My friend and associate Indiana Jones has sent me here to select a site for our next excavation. But with so many potentially significant ruins to choose from, I am faced with an embarrassment of riches. Uh, so to speak. Let's send Sala to survey possible dig sites. Ah, see? That building there. A fine structure if there ever was one. Though I'm certain it reminds me of something. The Temple of Peril, perhaps? In the jungles of French Indochina? I admit. There's a fair resemblance, but no. Or maybe the infamous Temple of the Crystal Skull in the Lost River Delta region of Peru? That's closer still, but... Ah, I am thinking of a different temple entirely in the Lost Delta region of India. An honest mistake, I assure you. An amusing quirk of translation... Is it not? I suppose more than one delta can be lost at a time. It is the Temple of the Forbidden Eye I speak of, the hidden jewel of Bengal, excavated by Indiana Jones himself. Perhaps you've heard the stories of it in the news? It was all the rage with tourists some time ago. Ah, but there are stories of the temple that you will not read in the papers, and one in particular comes to mind. One moment, while I prepare myself to tell it properly. Ahem. Let's send Sala to prepare to tell a story, but we have to get him to level 2. Okay guys, so it has been a few hours, and it is now time to get Sala to level 2. Holy smoke! While we wait for Sala to finish his 8 hour quest, why don't we have a look at the event hub? So the first tab we see here are the characters section, 
where it shows you all of the characters you can get during the event. Next, we have the Event Goals tab, where it shows you all of the quests you need to complete during the event. Here we have the Feature tab, where some of the event exclusive bundles and chests are. Next, we have the Leaderboard tab, where the Striking Goal events will be held. And last, we have the FAQ. You can also get the Indiana Jones Parade Float for 50 gems if you would like, in which I did buy after going through the event hub. Then give three cheers and one cheer more for the Captain of the Pinafore. Ah, perfect. When a brisk vocal warm-up is required, I find a brief excerpt of Savoy Opera is just the thing. With the possible exception of the Major General song, that always leaves me more tongue-tied than before. Besides, as someone who has met his fair share of pirates, that entire operetta is most inaccurate. Ah, but I digress. Allow me to begin my tale at the beginning. The year, 1935. The personages involved, Indiana Jones and myself, engaged in a dig of great archaeological significance. And the place, as you by now well know, is the magnificent Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Let's build the Indiana Jones Adventure Attraction. But we have to wait for a few more hours for it to be unlocked. So I hope you enjoyed Chapter 1 of the Indiana Jones event in Disney Magic Kingdoms. And stay tuned for Chapter 2 of this event, where I built the Indiana Jones Adventure Attraction. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Please like the video. Leave a comment if you would like, as it really helps the channel. And be sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter accounts if you haven't already. And if you're playing this event like me, then please tell me how well you are doing on the event in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.